what is going on everybody so this is going to be a quick run through of how to get docker and docker compose installed on linux mint 21. i have a fresh installation of linux mint 21 here on a vmware virtual machine so i'm just going to log in we should update but for the sake of time I'm just going to jump right in. We'll run Docker. Now they have Docker as an upstream repo, which makes our lives a lot easier now. And we have the nice hint here to just do a sudo apt install docker.io. Put in our password. And we'll let that run. All right, now we can just run Docker and this is gonna throw an error. Well, that should throw an error. Well, maybe they automatically add the user to the group now. Uh, we'll go with it, but if you do get an error, uh, you just need to do uh, user mod, add to group, the group is Docker. And here, my username is Gary, or if for some reason you're unsure or don't want to read your name over here, uh, you can just do that, which will put the current user you're logged in as in the Docker group. So uh, we can just Docker run hello world. There we get the error. Okay, so and if you just want to do a sanity check, you can echo out that variable and see that it's just Gary. Uh, you can log out and log back in, or you can just Switch to the current user, which should have the same behavior. Actually, I think I could have just ah, no pseudo because I think you're running that with pseudo so you're running it as root so it switches you to root. Let's try that again. I might have fat fingered that. Hmm. Let me take a peek at my notes here. Oh. Switch user to the current user. Okay, now we should be good. And up arrow is not working because I started a new terminal session. All right, and there we go. Uh, we can start writing our first program here. And Alpine's always good because it is the well one of the slimmest images I know of and we can just echo something and this will pass it to the entry point which I believe is bash and we need to build the image so the dot lets it know it's here and we're just going to tag that as test and we'll let that build and because I didn't give it the second part of the tag 
uh, just automatically tagged it as latest. All right, and we are good. Now, if we run Docker Compose again, we get a nice nifty hint. We can just install that. And that'll just take a moment. And I already have a tab open here with a Docker Compose file from Data Talks Club. So I'm just going to copy that. Control X, Control Y or sorry, control X, Y is how I'm saving that. And we'll do Docker Compose up. And while that's going, we can just take a look at that file and see that it's going to start PG Admin running on the local host with that's the login, that's the password. Let's try that again. That's a bit odd. Okay, that's still pulling. Now if we refresh, give it another minute. Looks like it might connect now. All right. Let me just highlight control C. Oh, that doesn't work in terminal. Copy. Don't need to save that. But it looks like we're good. So, if you are on an older version of Linux Mint and it's not an upstream repository, uh, you can add that. But what I ran into in the past three years or however long. If you go to how to install Docker on Linux, you'll notice these Ubuntu versions, Jammy, Focal, Bionic. Now the command they want you to run won't work for Linux Mint. I'm not sure if that's changed, but that's what I always ran into. When you look at the command you run to add the repo, it comes back as Vanessa. But it went by really fast. The upstream repo, I guess I can't scroll back to it now, is actually Jammy. And this is an old repo I had made to install docker and docker compose just because I did it so much but if you look here we actually need to use the Ubuntu code name and you could hard code that but what's the fun in that so if we echo this out we see jammy which is one of the ones that we saw listed here I'll post a link under the video to this. It's a bit old. Uh, you'll definitely need to update where it's grabbing Docker Compose from, but I believe it should still work. And let's see. Uh, one more thing, just something I like is Terminator.
So instead of juggling these terminals, I could have done a dash D to run it detached. Well, let me run it here. Okay. I might need to reboot, but usually it's... Oh, there it is. You know what? I'm going to use the menu just to show it works. New install. Windows that bother you. There we go. So you can just right click. Split horizontally. Split vertically. So instead of jumping back and forth between terminals, I can just do something like watch docker ps. Oh, that should work. I'm sure if I rebooted it would. I'm just going to close all those. Close that guy. Control C. Okay, maybe I wasn't quite as slick with the switching to the current user as I thought. Used to work. Not sure what I'm missing there. I'm going to, and this looks fancy, but basically it's just saying add the last logged in user just so you're not adding root to it. So let's see. Okay, now if we run Dr. Compose up, let's actually do a dash D just so it doesn't take up the window. Now we can do watch Dr. Compose or watch Docker PS. And now we've got these other windows. If we want to do some installs or um, work on the docker file or it just gives you more space and I, I find it's a nicer layout to work with but that's all I have for now hopefully this helped some of you out and I'm sure I will see you around